Okay, hi everyone. I'm Nicola Barclay. I'm a departmental lecturer here in Oxford, um, a lecturer in sleep medicine at the Nuffield Department of Clinical Neurosciences. And I run an online program here. It's the first fully online degree bearing award that Oxford have ever um, produced. And so I've put this together with um, colleagues who are all academics as well. So it's an academic led online program in sleep medicine. And this is a two year master's program. Um, and we have students who are from a variety of health professional backgrounds and they're all working full time. So they have very limited time to devote to a part time online masters, uh, but they manage it. So we're training psychologists, psychiatrists, GPs, ENT, respiratory medicine, um, a whole bunch of different professions in how to diagnose and manage different sleep disorders. And so we're using video extensively in this online course. And what we're wanting to do is really emulate the traditional Oxford teaching style of lectures and tutorials in an online platform. And so we have over 90 hours worth of recorded material. And I know that some of you would think, oh God, that's far too much. And we're kind of questioning whether that's too much as well. So it'd be great to have discussions after some of the sessions today. Um, so typically we have the traditional lecture style format where we have hour long lectures, but the students are really engaging with these. So even though some of the pedagogic literature is suggesting, um, you know, we should have short six minute videos, we find that the hour long lectures, the traditional style of teaching is actually working for our students. We do try to break up those lectures. So we have intermittent quizzes to get the students to interact with the material they have to um, answer some multiple choice questions at several time slots during the lecture and also complete little 100 word assignments during those lectures as well. But we also have weekly online discussion groups. So we run these three times a day to capture students in different time zones across the world. And these are an hour and a half each. So each student will engage in an hour and a half long um, online seminar where they interact with the tutor, they interact with other students and we use Zoom video conferencing software to do that. It's really effective. And what we like to do is give the students a bit of preparation beforehand, so the week in advance, they have to um, either find a paper, read a paper, create a presentation, work with other students on the course through their own video conferencing software. And then they come back to the Zoom room and um, interact with the rest of the group and show those presentations. We use the um, breakout rooms where transfers their video and microphone to a separate room. They can do small group discussions and come back to the main room to present to the rest of the group. And this method seems to work for our program. And so our online lectures are recorded through Panopto. And here's an example of the traditional look of Panopto. I think I'm out of time almost. Um, and so we've got the, the lecturer on screen. The students can skip forward, uh, slow down, speed up. They can add their notes on it. We can pay to get this captioned, but at the moment we haven't decided to do that. And the students can see the PowerPoint slides on there as well. But we're playing around with green screen recordings. Um, I'm hoping to get my hands on the Rapid MOOC at some point to update some of our materials. Um, and so I've been playing around with the IP services, green screen, and creating our videos like this. And we've managed to find a way where we can record these nice looking videos also through Panopto so that we don't lose all of the functionality of skipping forward, slowing down, taking notes etc. Um, and so I'm over time here, so that's everything that I wanted to talk to you about, so thank you for listening.